Hey, hi folks. My lad's going fishing tomorrow, so this is a quick video, really for him. He doesn't need it. He's an intelligent chap, just making sure he doesn't burn himself. Uh, and that's not being funny, Andrew, okay? Right. Okay, so I've just filled up. You can't see it. I don't think you can see that. Anyway, I've just filled up with Coleman's fuel using one of my... I got some spare fuel in one of these MSR fuel bottles for the many stoves that I have required over the years. I've had this one five six maybe more so this is the coleman's 533 you put the lid on i don't want to spill any fuel make sure that secures down properly always check your rubbers are not broken or worn out okay you need a good seal you don't want any gas coming out of here and then igniting from the top over there because that's the last thing you need because when you want these out if you're going to get any problems like that make sure you wet a cloth and then just chuck it over the whole lot okay so this is the combustion bar so what this does when this heats up i've not tried this for about a year or so so when this heats up it turns the liquid gas into uh, evaporated gas and then you'll get the evaporation that's what causes the thing anyway you'll see so to prime, you undo this a little bit, a couple of few turns, and then we prime. It does tell you how many, I think it's about 12 from that. I just bump until it gets a bit stiff and then and then once you get to the point where you think you've done enough, push it in. Just turn it back. It's not hard, it's just light, and then that locks it. And then on this side you have your tap now this will simmer to a certain degree it's a it's always has been a little bit finicky so i just want to comes with one of these boxes by the way I've, well, i bought it with this so he's going to get the lighter in there as well because i know guarantee he'll go and won't have a lighter so the next thing to do turn it on and ooh, lighter there we go Sometimes you will get, sometimes they flame up, but... There you go, that's full. Ooh, it's nice and warm now. And that's it, I, these cook extremely fast. I find them very... The only thing that is slightly bulky, but if you camp it, it doesn't matter. As long as you've got the room, which he has, he's going in his vehicle, of course. Uh, let's have a this. Yeah, it might be a kid really is a nice bit of kit. Oh, that's nice and toasty. <laughs> yeah, so I, I do find with this the adjuster on the side, let me just hand you back a bit. And pull you out. It's not, you should simmer with it, but it doesn't seem to want to work that well. It does it, and then sometimes it'll go out, you see. But I find if I turn it off and back on, it'll simmer. A bit silly. You see, it's very... That's on full. It might need a bit of a service, to be honest with you, because, like I said, it's not. It's just. You turn him off. It's usually better than that. I definitely think it needs a bit of a service. Do you know what I mean? You've got that. Yeah, definitely. But apart from that, it does work. Exceptionally well. Let's try that again. Turn him off. I think we might get a simmer now. And because the, the flame is a bit orangey, I think we're having a bit of a, a burn problem there, so it might need a good. I've been used for ages. Now you can prime it. I don't know if it's sensible or not, but I know you can. I am doing this. Um, as you can see. Yeah, a bit more pressure needed, I think, there a little bit. There's a lot of fuel in it, so, you know. 
Look at that. I'm feeling well now. Okay, so really, it's just a quick burn test and a lighting test on filling on the Coleman's unleaded. It will do unleaded fuel as well, 533. Um, I'm not going to get rid of it ever because it's a fantastic bit of, bit of stove. He's also taking with me, with him, my GSR frying pan. Yes, I have all the gear and uh, he likes to borrow it. So, yeah, this is, can you see that? Yeah, there you go. Right, on that note, let's shut it down, cool it off. He's going to pick it up tomorrow, I believe. So, but, but it'll take a while to go out. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like, that would be great. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one very soon. Take care.